class is in session. Y'all know that I am the soft glam girly, but I'm gonna teach y'all how to do an everyday natural look for brown skin girls, dedicated especially for us because we need a little extra love and we all deserve to look beautiful. So let's get pretty. So I just got out the shower, washed my face with cleanser. Since this is a beginner friendly makeup tutorial, I'm gonna give you like a lazy girl skin prep so you don't have to do so much when you're gonna do your makeup. First, I really recommend everyone to get this D-Alba facial spray. Like this has saved me so much time. It's so amazing. This gives you the most beautiful glow. I like to put a good amount and a serum is always recommended when it comes to skin prep. Make sure you let that absorb. And the next step, you're gonna move on to eye cream. So always think of your routine as going from lightest to heaviest product. So you cleanse your face, next you're gonna apply your serum. Next, the third thickest viscosity of product is gonna be your eye cream and you're gonna apply that next. And then after your eye cream, if you're gonna be going out during the day or nighttime, if it's daytime just go on and apply your hydrating SPF but if you're going out at the night you don't need SPF so just apply your moisturizer and then move on to your next makeup step so just to let you guys know I'm gonna be real honest what the clean girl girlies natural girlies don't tell you when it comes to natural makeup looks they don't really last all day if you want your makeup to look more natural, if you want it to look like skin, you avoid powder at all costs. But the thing about powder is, powder is what helps set your makeup. But throughout the day, you're gonna look more greasy, your makeup's gonna separate. You will have to touch up throughout the day or every few hours depending on your skin condition. But if you guys do want a natural makeup look that's a little bit more glam, but it's long wearing, you can wear this all day, I would check out my arm online makeup course if you want a similar look like this it's an hour long it's a very 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 in-depth pro video if that's something that you are more interested in I would check that out um, it is coming this year if you have any questions on that just email me you can contact me on Instagram just let me know so now I'm gonna just use a little bit of moisturizers I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury magic cream these products that I'm using they are expensive but they are worth it if you do want to elevate your skincare or your makeup if you don't want to commit to the price of the caudalie eye cream you can try inky list eye creams they have really good ones and they're pretty good the magic cream it comes in a lot of different sizes the smallest size is $30 but if that's still too much I recommend the inky list peptide cream that one's really good La Roche Posay has really nice moisturizers Neutrogena I forgot what it's called it's like a Neutrogena Gina Aqua Bomb. I don't feel like you need primer. I feel like your skincare is your primer no matter how oily you are. If you are severely oily though, you can use a primer, but I only do suggest to use it in the T-zone. If you're very, very oily, then I would apply primer all over the face and I would apply a mattifying primer. And actually, if you are interested in the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, the Magic Cream is not only a moisturizer, it's a primer too. So it's two in one. You don't have to put a primer on top of that it's perfect and it's also anti-aging so you can use this with or without makeup if you do want a little bit of hold in your makeup i do recommend using your setting spray as a primer because it's a lot more lightweight than applying another cream onto your face i'm using the charlotte tilbury spray i really like the sephora collection one that one is only 13 dollars but a 16 hour wear you want to let that sink into the skin as well. You never wanna apply product and immediately apply your makeup. You wanna make sure that you let it sink in to your skin. Now that our setting spray is nice and absorbed, we're gonna go in with a tinted moisturizer. For an everyday look, you don't need a foundation, especially if you're gonna be using concealer after that. So I'm just dipping my sponge and I'm just tapping this all over the face. 
This one is from Huda Beauty. It's the Glowish line. It's a really pretty everyday tinted moisturizer. It's a beautiful glowy finish. I love that it's waterproof, so it's very long wearing. So this is just to even out our skin and to give us a nice glowy complexion. If you are a brown girly, dark skin, olive skin, we tend, not all of us, a majority of us, tend to have a little bit of hyperpigmentation. I don't know if you guys can tell around my mouth area right here, a little bit around my eye, I have discoloration. It's a lot darker than my natural skin tone. Our tinted moisturizer, our highlighted concealer that we have that's a few shades lighter than us, that's not going to color correct anything. If we put those type of colors on top of our hyperpigmentation, it's going to look ashy, it's going to look gray. So we're going to go in with a concealer because you don't always need a orange color corrector. Most of the time, all you need is a warm concealer or a concealer that's your shade a tiny bit of warmth or a tiny bit darker just to color correct that area I'm using the hourglass concealer I'm only putting a dot because this concealer goes a long way this time we're not gonna use our beauty blender I like to apply concealer with brushes and especially under the eyes I'm gonna actually we're not gonna blend out the eyes first we're gonna blend out this area with our sponge and do it very lightly tap very very lightly and you're just gonna conceal those dark areas that you have and if you need more apply more we're just going in with dots just so that we don't apply a lot of product because it's a lot easier to add on than to take away I feel like I need a little bit more right here and before, it used to be a lot worse. Having a consistent skincare routine has really been helping me. So now what you're gonna do, if you have any imperfections, I have a little pink pimple, have a little dark spot, little acne scar here, and lightly just tap with your sponge and also another tip always make sure that you're blending on the side where there's product on it when you're blending where there's no product on it you're picking up a lot of product and you're not getting the pigment that you want this is a bobby brown full coverage touch-up brush i'm looking into my mirror i'm tilting my head down and i'm looking up at the mirror and i'm just tapping So this is how we look so far. Again, if you feel like you need a little bit more, just add a little bit more. You're not gonna look like a clown because you're going little by little. Your skin looks nice and even. I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. I like this one because it's like a contour and bronzer in one because it's not so gray, but it's not so red. It's like the perfect neutral shade. So I'm just gonna apply a few dots, like three dots right here on my forehead and then a little bit down here. Take your beauty blender where you still have foundation and you're just gonna blend this out. We're mainly just using the beauty blender today because I wanna make it easier for you, a lot faster. If you're a beginner, you don't have time to be doing a whole makeup routine right before you go to school, right before you go to work. So a beauty blender is always the fastest way. You can leave it like this if you want to. If you want a little bit of highlight, I will take uh, another concealer under my eye. I'll apply a tiny dot in the inner corner. I'll put some on my nose. A little dot on my forehead right here and right here this is basically the guide of how you would highlight your face and I would even put a tiny 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 dot start out with your beauty blender here you're just gonna go up and down and side to side just bring this up on the forehead Thank you. 
So this is how your face would look if you wanted to be a little bit more highlight. Before I applied the lighter concealer, it was more like one tone. Didn't have a too much dimension, it just had a little bit because of the bronzer slash contour. To me, my preference, I feel like it looks very flattering and beautiful on the face, but there's nothing wrong with going with the first look if that's what you're most comfortable with. I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury blush wand in Peach Pop, so I feel like cute everyday blush colors are colors like these like a nice peachy coral shade for brown girls i feel like it just complements us so much and we can wear it for every season it just looks so good take the clean side of the beauty blender and i like to just dab my beauty blender into the blush this avoids lifting of the foundation and all the work that she did so very lightly just pat this on the cheek Always start out with small amounts, tap very lightly, and work your way up. There's no right or wrong way like, oh, you have to put this, this amount of blush, this amount of bronzer is what you're comfortable with. And if you ever feel like you put too much, go back on the foundation side and just blend over that. Don't ever go on the clean side. This is also preference. You can put a little bit here on your nose. With the same contour wand, I just take my brush and I just rub my brush on the wand and I kind of just follow the bridge of your nose like this. Bring, try to bring the line a lot closer than natural. What you want to do is you don't want to leave these lines floating here. You want to connect it. You see where my eye, where my um, darkness on my eye starts you want to connect it right here that's where you want to connect your nose contour you can fill in right here and I like to make a little line and I just like to connect and make a triangle right here so I make a triangle like this and then I just bring in the lines it looks a little messy take your finger and just drag your finger down foundation side of the beauty blender and tap the sides i really 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 do recommend everyone to get some type of pressed powder if you want something to look very natural and soft and have a little bit of radiance i'll try the kosas cloud set powder this one is so good i love it so much it's one of my favorite powders i'll suggest getting a shade your skin tone just to set in the t-zone in this area so right now my face it looks really good without powder right but throughout the day i have combination skin mind you i'm gonna look like a grease ball it's gonna look so ugly so ugly i promise you if i don't set my makeup i look disgusting this bitch disgusting when people want a makeup look and they try to explain to a makeup artist like they don't want to wear powder because they feel like powder makes you cakey but there's just ways that you have to apply it and i'm gonna teach you right now I tried to do this makeup tutorial with a colorless powder and it just didn't work because when I was set, even when I color corrected, it turned gray. So us brown skin girlies, we need a compact powder. We need a baking powder, a compact powder, setting powder that's our skin tone for certain areas in our face because if not, we are going to look gray and we don't want that. Before you set under your eye, you're going to look in the mirror again. You're going to blend out any creasing. So I'm just going in and tapping. This is my second layer of powder already. My T-zone, my forehead, in between my brows, brows under my eye, my nose. But before you go on to this other eye, make sure you blend out this crease too. And just tap very lightly under the eye. I would say start out with two layers and see how your skin takes it because we're not all oily. Sometimes we have dry skin. Sometimes we have normal skin. Sometimes you don't need a lot of powder. Sometimes people need more powders than others. We're all different. You can put and wear your makeup in whatever order you want, but as long as you know the theory and know how to do your makeup and know how to fix it if you mess up, you're fine. I like to crease on my laugh lines and that's really, really annoying. So I like to set there. I like to set around my mouth. That's how we're looking so far very 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 natural mm, i'm trying so hard not to apply more you need one more powder 
I'm sorry to break it to you, but you need one more. You need a loose setting powder. The loose setting powder is what's gonna lock everything in. So you can't just use one. <laughs> you need at least, you need a pressed powder and you need a loose powder. But it's okay, because you don't have to get full size. These come in minis. I'm using the new Laura Mercier Talc Free Powder. I'm gonna put a little bit of that under my eye, right on top of the cloud set powder, because I am starting to crease a little bit. You you avoid that by setting it with loose powder yes and it just I don't know oh I'm so tempted to put a little bit of bronzer on I'm going crazy but I'm not going to this is natural natural put a little bit of brow gel through our brows I'm using the Patrick Ta brow gel I'm gonna comb that through I'm so sorry for the people that don't shave their brows this is the type of style that I go for. If you guys want me to do a updated brow tutorial on someone that actually has brows, like that actually has a full brow, let me know. I'll get my niece up here. We're gonna do a very natural brow. I usually like to go for a bold brow, but we're gonna relax today. We're gonna use my favorite Refi brow pencil. This one is in the color medium. I love it because it's very thin and it gives me precise lines. First, I'm gonna start out with a line on the bottom. You don't want to start out with a line in the brow. In the brows, you want to make strokes going upwards. Now, you're going to brush that out. Oh my god, I'm running out! And I'm going to make myself a little arch. If you accidentally put too much, just go over it with this spoolie. I need to buy one. Oh my god, I'm running out. With the same concealer you use. I would say use the concealer that's close to your skin tone. Just so it can look more natural around the eyes. I took some of that concealer on my hand. Put that on a flat brush. And like just carve it out. Just carve out your brow. So if you want, you can definitely leave it like this if you want a nice softer approach. If you feel like something is missing, you want to add a little bit more. This is when you go in with a powder bronzer. So this is like a mini version of this one, but it's just in a darker color. I take a big, take a big bronzer brush. <gasps> I'm out of breath. I want everything to be nice and soft. So I'm just swirling that in here. Put that in the areas where I applied the contour. So see, that brought like a little bit of life to me. If not, you could leave it like this. I, I don't really put highlight on, but I'm just gonna show you guys. This is the Rare Beauty highlight. I got it in Enlighten, I mean in Exhilarate, but I think I'm gonna change it for Flaunt when it's back in stock. So I'm just putting this like right on my cheekbone right here. And I just tapped in once and I'm going in circles. Bring it out. I do a dot there, a dot there, and I just blend that out, put some right here, blend that out, and it gets like a really just pretty highlighted glow. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that bronzer with a fluffy brush, and I'm gonna put this in my crease. So you still have a little bit of that concealer from the brow, so it gives you a natural highlight, and it gives you somewhat dimension. So just build up that bronzer here on the crease, and I like to blow it out as well. You can even put this all over your lid if you want, with no eye primer, no concealer, it's just very light. You don't have to do a whole bunch of steps. Take that bronzer, a smaller brush, and just put it in your lower lash line. I like this Fenty Shadow Stick. I got it in the shade Get On Taupe. Girl, are you freaky? I just put that like right here in my inner corner, just like that. So I'm gonna teach you how to make your lashes look so freaking long. So you gotta get used to tight lining, you guys, because I know it tickles like a mother, but you have to do it. I like to take a black eyeliner. You can use a dark brown, but I like black because I love the drama. I tilt my head back. I slightly push my lid up and I just go back and forth on my tight line. You're not gonna line the pink area, you're gonna line the area where, where you see the brown skin. So I don't know if you guys can tell or see a difference, but this just made my lashes look 
fuller. You're gonna need a lash curler. Tilt my head back and try to fit all my lashes. I lightly squeeze down. If I feel that I'm pinching my skin a little bit, I let go and I just go up. And you wanna like pump your lashes. And you wanna do this until you see that you got like a nice curl. I wasn't a huge believer when it came to lash curlers, but it really does make a difference. Now you're gonna do the same to the other eye. Me, I have to roll my eyes because if not, I'm gonna start tearing. Next step, you're gonna need a lash primer. This shit, oh my God, excuse my language. This is the Milk White Widow Kush Lash Primer. This, I love this so much because it's natural. It conditions your lashes so nicely, makes it super soft. I love that this line, the, the Kush line, it promotes natural hair follicle growth. Overall, good for your lashes and it just make your lashes look so good. So we're gonna apply a thin layer of that. I've been loving a whole bunch of mascaras, but this YSL Lash Clash is really, really nice. Love this one if you want really big old lashes. So look at the way that I apply my concealer. I like to go back and forth. I mean, my... <laughs> My mascara, I like to go back and forth. And then it's when I start to comb out from the root. This is what makes your lashes nice and long and voluminous. Look at that curl. And you also want to use the tip. Don't only use right here. Use the tip of that mascara to really get in there. People always neglect the top of the lash. You need to comb the top of the lash as well. And that's one coat right there. Now we're going to move on to the other eye. Okay, see? Like that. And now you're going to go and do your second coat. Now you're going to do the same for your lower lashes. But I don't use a primer because I feel like I don't really need one. If you feel like you do, go ahead, girl. Use your primer. Or actually, maybe, let me just try it and see how it goes. The way I apply my lower lash line, I go this way. I just feel like it's easier for me. Wow, this is making my lashes way too long. I never put primer on my lower lashes, and this is insane. So I already had a little bit of lip balm on throughout the whole process of this and wiping off any like foundation. Ever since I discovered lip liner, I was not able to look back. Lip liner is very important. It looks so good on everyone. It just elevates your look and you just look like the baddest bee. I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Liner in Chai. This is like a medium brown, but it does have a little bit of like a reddish undertone to it. Right now, I'm just lining my natural lip. Go inside the lines. Stay inside the lines. The way I like to line my lips, I like to do like a fake little cupid's bow right here. So just give me a nice glassy shine. This is um, Fenty Beauty lip gloss in Sweet Mouth. It's a really pretty universal color that goes well on every skin tone. And like our lips just look so juicy. I love this color so, so much. Okay, you guys, this is the final look. What do you guys think? I feel like this is the perfect everyday natural brown skin girl friendly makeup tutorial. You look nice and snatched, nice and glowy. You don't look too powdery. You don't look cakey at all. Oh, and you're glowing from within. Like, come on. Yes, yes, yes. The lashes are giving, the lips are giving. If you guys have any questions, please comment down below. Products are gonna be in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a beautiful, positive comment down below. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys soon.